What up? Welcome to the Dope Show. Anyways, fucking, I thought I'd do an album review. And, uh, it's really overdue, man. It's been a long time. And it's not really just an album review. I'm just going to talk about it. This band, Devourment. Um, the last album, Conceived in Sewage. Right now, at the moment, I love slam death metal bands. For people that are now, like, kind of checking me out. Actually, I've said a lot of videos. Uh, slam death metal is becoming my, or has been, if not for the last two to three years, is now my favorite genre of death metal. It's, it's just my favorite. I'm in love with slam death metal. Um, the first slam death metal band I ever heard was Short Bus Pileup. And Short Bus Pileup, when I first heard Short Bus, I was like, oh my god, this is excellent. And then it kind of defined the slam death metal sound for me. And then I started to realize, you know, that slam death metal has actually been around for a while. And there's bands like Devourment and Suffocation and Skinless that kind of invented the slam sound, if not old school slam death metal bands. Because I talked to Trey Williams from Dying Fetus. I'm like, what do you think about this new slam death metal that's going on? It's like, I liked it back when it was... Uh, Back in the day when uh, Dehumanized and Eternal Bleeding was doing it, I always liked Slam Death Metal. And he even said, like, because I seen in an interview, a lot of people were like, well, now uh, Dying Fetus is getting a lot of credit for being the core originators of Slam Death Metal or and Deathcore. And I'm just like, not Deathcore at all. Honestly, it's just an interview. I'm like, this chick who's interviewing doesn't know exact what she's saying. Because Dying Fetus aren't even close to Deathcore. And, um... And then, but, but he said, we're, we're not Deathcore, but, you know, if people think that about that, if we're slammed, then cool to them. But haven't they, anyone heard of band Suffocation? I mean, Suffo is basically the ones who invented the slam riff. Which is pretty true, man. Like, you know, I'm influenced by Suffo. I love Suffocation very much. Suffo is, like, one of my all-time favorite bands next to Dying Fetus and you can tell Dying Fetus has always been influenced by Suffocation and Dying Fetus I know them I don't know them personally I just hang out with them every time I go to a show and talk to them quite a bit you know I just know that they love Dying or uh, love Suffocation and I've seen Dying Fetus with Suffocation a long time ago and they actually opened up for Suffo and it was a good show. That was a long time ago. That was back with Stop at Nothing. And that was back when they were a five-piece metal band. But anyways, I'm talking about Slam Death Metal. And Devourment, new album, Conceived in Sewage, is like my new favorite album of Slam Death Metal. Devourment is like my favorite Slam Death Metal band. And recently, i just not only been listening to that album, but I've been listening to all Devourment, you know. I really liked Butcher the Week when it came out. To me, at the time, it just it still sounded like Devourment to me. You know, what I mean, you can tell there's a big difference by the replacement of the vocals and Mike Majewski and stuff. But uh, I like Mike Majewski's vocals. A lot of people have ripped on him and dissed on him. Like they 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 just like the original vocalists. You know, and and uh, I always wondered, you know, since. Uh, the guitarist, I can't, it's like Ruben. I just, I just don't know why. He, he at least hasn't done get backup vocals, you know, even though he's the guitarist. He should, he should do some back, like, do, do vocals like Dying Fetus. That would be cool for Devourment. They should actually try giving that a shot. I, and I got high with Devourment, and, and it never came to ask the question that. I was getting high with the guitarist. Why? Why didn't be like? So why don't you just do guest vocals, or not guest vocals, but backup vocals too? You know, just get in there every now and then. But anyways, devourment. The, the devourment conceived in sewage is like one of the most epic slam albums of all time. And right now, I'm. I mean, I, I just devour slam. Any band that slam, I just check it out, man. Even if I don't like. You know, even, even, I just, if it's slam, I check it out and give it my opinion. Devour the Unborn, Visceral Disgorge, um, slam just a big thing, man. It seems like every death metal band that comes out isn't death metal, it's slam. There, there's still death metal bands coming out, but it's just like, 
so many slam bands coming out. Cannibalistic Infancy. They just came out like a month ago, and oh my god. Goddamn brutal. And Swine Overlord. And bands like that. I mean, Slam's just getting huge, man. What, what, and I predicted it would. Well, as soon as I heard Short Bus pile up, I'm like, man, Slam's going to be the future of death metal. And bands like Begging for Incest, Ingested, and Cranium at the time were like pretty much the big Slam bands. And just like, it's it, it's about time for a new Short Bus pile up album. Seriously, it's like. Those guys kind of dropped off the map. You don't hear anything about Short Bus Pileup anymore. Those guys were fucking brutal with their with their first album. It's about time for a new album. But uh, anyways, and uh, the, the the conceived and sewage album is like, oh my god! Like I remember me and Shredder, we were just listening to like the 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 the, look, the teaser preview, and we were like, that's like some of the most epic slam that I have ever heard. My favorite song is Heaving Acid on the album. And I've listened to the entire album all the I, I've slept to it, I've listened to it, I just I just love it so much. The thing that really gets in my craw is that I, I that that people have said Devourment's finally sold out, you know, and it's just like, man, how can Devourment sell out? It's like, come on, dude. It took them three album after three albums they finally came out with a music video, dude. Just because they're signed to Relapse Records and they came out with a music video. I mean, if you if you like Devourment, and I, I mean, you know, it's like people, the death metal politics and industry is just like so ridiculous. Like, I have a buddy that's absolutely into gore grind, and he's like, if it isn't gore grind, it's selling out. You know, I'm just like, my God. It's just ridiculous. Like you have to be gore grind now to be to stay underground. Like if it's death metal, it's mainstream and it's selling out. It's just like so ridiculous to to have that for people to say that. I'm just like, man, death metal is not selling out. Slam death metal isn't selling out. And to me, devourment conceived in sewage. It it is stick to devourment sound, man. Especially it's it's just like butchered the week. Unleashing the Carnivore. It's, it's really those two albums mixed together with it's like all their albums mixed together, man. Eric Parr's a fucking phenomenal beast, and, and uh, there, there's even some bass riffs, man, which which there really wasn't that many before. I think there was like one song, Unleash the Carnivores, to where Captain Piss did his little bass bass riff. You know, what I mean, there there's that. Mike Majewski also did mids on this one. Which his vocals are always guttural, but this one, I and Eric Park, you just can't go wrong with Eric Park. Eric Park's my favorite all-time death metal drummer, pretty much, man. I love Trey Williams; he's a great drummer for Dying Fetus. And then my other favorite is Dwayne Timlin. Uh, Dwayne Timlin and Eric Park are just like, oh my god. But the Empowerment Conceived in Sewage is just like I'm so impressed with this album. I mean. It it, it it made my favorite slam death metal band of all time now. Like, I've always loved Devourment. And Molesting the Decapitated, Devourment will always be written in history for, mol for Molesting the Decapitated as mega death metal bands. Just for the one album, man. You know, the rest of the albums could suck, they could sell out, but they made history with Molesting the Decapitated. Devourment did. Straight up. And, I mean, when I first heard Molesting the Decapitated, I was like, oh, my God. This shit is just, like, possessed. And, like, the gravity blast that, that, that the drummer did and then doing double gravity, it just sounds so fucking phenomenally fast. And, man, I, I didn't think it was even possible to drum that fast. Like, at the time, I was just getting into death metal. I was, like, 14. I didn't even understand how a drummer could drum that fast. I didn't, I didn't even know there was gravity blast back then, so... And, um, uh, just molesting the decapitated, of course it's going to be everybody's favorite devourment album. I already know that. And, and it's, it was my favorite for a long time. But I have loved every single devourment album that's come out more than the last one. Like, after, when Butcher the Week came out, I liked Butcher the Week more than molesting the decapitated. When, uh, Unleashing the Carnivore, Carnivores came out. I liked that one more than Butcher of the Week. And this 
conceived in sewage is I love that more than anything. It is now my favorite album. And I think it's even better than Molested and Decapitated. I mean, dare I say, <laughs> you know, seriously, dare I say that Conceived in Sewage is their best album ever. And I love the lineup. I've loved the lineup for years. I love, I love, I love the lineup. I love the bass. I love Mike Majewski, the bassist, uh, the guitars, and Eric Park. They, they, that, that lineup has been awesome since Butcher the Week. And I think it needs to stay that way. I mean, it's great. And Mike Majewski himself is an awesome person. When I saw Devourment, I asked him if he wanted to get stoned. He told me he didn't smoke. I'm like, that's cool. And he just gave me a free Devourment t-shirt, which was brutal, man. And I've talked to him online. He's not, he's great to the fans. He's a good person. He's huge. He's pretty intimidating. He's a great vocalist, man. Live. Uh, Devourment is just beast. They're, 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 they're a great fucking band. And I'm glad to see that they finally came out with an album. It was long overdue. Long overdue. I mean, so long, it's just like, you you, you almost lost hope. Like, is Devourment even going to come out with another, another album? Like, skinless, man. Like, I mean, after Trample the Week and Hurdle the Dead, you're just like, what the fuck's going on, man? It's been so long since Skinless came out with an album, and then I found out they broke up. I'm like, fuck, man, that sucks. And then I talked to Skinless, and yep, they're back together, and the whole... And I think they're working on a new album, which is a beast, man. And it, and it, yeah, they told me it's all the original members from the very first album, first and second album. So I mean, we're going. Hopefully, we get that old school skinless sound, you know, like the, that old school bass, man. There's no better bass in death metal, in my opinion, than than skinless's first and second album. That the skinless's bass is just goddamn beast. Seriously. But the Devourment Conceived in Sewage album is probably my favorite slam album of all time. Or it's my favorite slam death metal band. Now Devourment. And it's just like, if you don't like Devourment, that's cool. But you can't really say a band sold out just because they went to a record label. I mean, if you, if that's the case, then Devourment sold out at Butcher of the Week, man. That's all I gotta say because it sounds, well, like, like their sounds, they still have their core sound, man. And they didn't sell out. They're still slam. They're, they fucking... They, they became, like, the kings of slam. They slam in a unique... In a unique way. I'm finally glad they came out with the music video. I'm really kind of disappointed in the music video, in my opinion, because it's really dark. And you can't see them that well. And it's shaking all, all over the place. You don't really get to see much of Eric Park. And uh, maybe the next one... It'll be better, like them playing a live show, kind of like a Dying Fetus music video where they're doing live show on the concert, and going around, or it'll just be better, you know. It wasn't bad, but it it could have been better. But I mean, they finally came out with the music video, which is awesome. So, like, I really liked the Fed by Pigs one that they had, and it seemed like it was a music video, but it was just a live performance, and it's still brutal, but. Anyways, man, the new Conceived in Sewage album by Devourment, you gotta get it, you gotta listen to it, and you gotta spread it like a plague, especially if you're into slam, dude. They're, they're a huge influence on me and, and my buddy Shredder, and uh, hopefully, you know, they'll keep coming out with another album and it won't take them ten years. Well, it wasn't even ten years, it was like about five years. Yeah, yeah, it was like four years, if not like five years. So they came out with another album. So I mean, you know, hopefully it won't be that long till they come out with another album. But Devourment Conceived in Sewage, I repeat myself all the time, so deal with that. Just just is just the most epic heaviest slam album of like two thousand and thirteen. There's some that, that that go up there, but right now I'm stuck on this album. And Devourment is like my new favorite band. I've ordered like fucking um four t-shirts of devourment within the last two months so anyways that's about all i gotta say and uh my next video i'm gonna get some posters up here soon i got them out i just haven't put them up just so you know you guys got something to look at instead of this blue fucking walls and shit so i so you know like my next album review will be cooler or just you know blah 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 i'll look more metal I have some posters on. Anyways, I thought I just wear this hat because I'm going to be growing my hair out. I thought I wear the hat and decided to wear an environment T-shirt today. And uh, speaking of which, we'll show you that one.
I got this one, and then the one with the logo on the side and the dead bodies, and then I got two more Devourer t-shirts on the way, which are the Tashira Egwa ones. There's the Crush with Barbarity, and uh, the Vomiting, or Festering Vomits Mask t-shirt, which, which I can't wait to get in the mail. Ordered it from overseas, so it'll probably take a month to get. And I'll let you know when I got that t-shirt. But anyways, thanks for tuning in to the Dope Show, Conceived in Sewage. Best devourment album yet. It is. It's, it, I think it's better than Molesting the Decapitated. I said it. So, bash me all you want. I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of people with their opinions and views, which is cool, man. But I think they finally topped their first album. That's all I got to say. Have a nice day. Thanks for tuning in to the Dope Show. Peace.